Hello and welcome to another Puzzling Time video. A bit of a strange one this. This is a request to open this puzzle up live on camera. We can see the hashtag PT for Puzzling Time. And it uh, seems to be called uh, uh, Symbol and it's by Mikhail Woodins. So it came in a, an envelope uh, which had my address on it and the sender's address. So I've obviously discarded that. But as we can see this is a... Uh, it is sealed up, so I don't know anything really about this puzzle except I know it's meant to be um, a dexterity puzzle. So let's see if we can open it up. I'm presuming that I can just pull this and it will rip. Oh, here we go. There we go. So that's our lid off and inside. We have a white glove. Now, I would I was actually expecting a glove of some sort because um, I was asked to provide my hand size. So this white glove is it's a little snug. I'll be honest. I think I have quite fat fingers for the size of my hands, but there we go. Um, just the one glove in here, and let's see if I can get this puzzle out. It's almost out. The box is beautiful, and I'm going to go touch this. Oh, I've got the hashtag PT. This I do not even pretend to know what it means. Uh, I presume it is just the symbol written uh, in Greek. And I'm guessing the idea is to just get the ball on top there. And as far as I know, there's no trick to this. I'm holding this upside down and looking from the side I can't see any indentations on the glass. Um, looking around, I cannot see much on the metal itself. So I'm not sure if there's anything hidden in here. I'm guessing not. I'm guessing this is just a pure dexterity challenge at this point. Um, now, there's two ways to attack a challenge like this. One is, is almost pure luck by trying to get the ball and um, trying to almost roll it up. The other way is to, um, is to, is to obviously try and roll it up. This is way too smooth. I would seriously struggle um, trying to roll this up the metal hill. Now, because this is curved, uh, having done a few puzzles like this in the past, I do know that it is possible to take a puzzle like this and almost ro roll it up about halfway and get it to drop, but that there's not much clearance, so that would seem quite difficult. Assuming there's not much clearance at all, it's so beautifully made. Um, I will play for just a minute or two to see if I can solve this without um, investigating any further. So. So very gently, the trick with a dexterity puzzle is not to try and be too random, it's to try and kind of hone in over time how close you're getting. So we're getting quite consistent 
with our lifts and I think this idea of kind of almost like lifting the puzzle and letting the curve do the work is an idea. I mean something to bear in mind is this is a metal ball so if there was a you know a hidden magnet inside this box which I can't seem to find um, you could just use a magnet to kind of move the ball up and I've seen that trick done um, before This is like a very extreme version of the Tamago egg. Egg numbers one and two, which has got the single um, bowl. This is much more of a pronounced peak. So I think what I'm going to do Playing with this in the hope that um, I learn a, a decent technique. It's definitely smooth all the way around, so there's no track to try and follow up. So I don't mind, when I'm doing a trick like this, I don't mind kind of repeatedly falling short. What's worse is going over the top and it being random and the ball landing everywhere. You actually want a consistent bounce. You can try rolling it, but Think that would be impossible. Yes. And again, another trick with uh, puzzles like this is if you're lacking consistency with one hand, do try two hands and just try and be as gentle as possible. and try and get the ball in roughly the same place when you're doing the repeated movement. I tend to typically start with the ball at the back and move it towards me when I do these puzzles rather than away. I just feel I have a bit more control. If you want to try the kind of the banging technique, use the palm of your hand rather than the table and So I'm going to stop here because I'm going to have to play with this for quite some time, I think. But as we can see, it's beautifully made. Um, we've got this wooden base with a very, very thick wooden base here. Uh, this burnt engraving. This is obviously some kind of steel. And that is probably a steel ball bearing. Doesn't sound like aluminium or tin to me. It may be chrome. But I will uh, check back with you if I manage to solve this. Okay, well, I'd literally spent about two minutes, uh, I put the camera away, I spent about two minutes doing this, if that, and I managed to get the, the ball on top. So I want to try and repeat the movement. Uh, really happy to achieve that so quickly. Um, it wasn't anything special that I did, it was very much kind of what I was showing you, hand underneath and just trying to jump that ball up, there we go, nearly managed it that time, but really trying to use that glass roof to help. 
Oef, nelly again. This could be one of those annoying puzzles that I can solve just not on camera. Hmm, so just take a minute and try and get centered again. I feel like it's more hitting against the glass that is the trick rather than trying to bank it down. As you can see, I took my white glove off to solve this. Um, exquisite jewel. I love the fact this is glass and not plastic. There we go, fantastic. So we managed to gain. So very interesting, it did seem to almost you know, jump up and bounce and wobble around. I'm going to investigate this a little bit further. But that is twice I've solved it now, probably within about five minutes. So it's not completely impossible, but it obviously is a bit of a technique. Now I've said this before about dexterity puzzles. Puzzles like this, for me, the, the puzzle is trying to work out how did I do the solution? What was the technique? Um, and this is, this, is, this is exceptional. I think this is a really, really nice version of a Dexterity challenge. A dexterity challenge doesn't always mean going as slow and careful as possible. Sometimes it can mean just about getting a consistency with a movement. And that's what this is, is a consistency of a movement until you can do this repeatedly. You'll see that with some of the bottle puzzles that I've solved. Uh, it's definitely the Tamago Eggs and now this uh, beautiful symbol puzzle uh, by Mikhail. Absolutely wonderful. Right, I'm going to take a couple of photos of this before it falls off uh, and get them sent over. So definitely, definitely check this puzzle out.